Please, my question that I have is the um a person when you're talking about um Jesus pay um our diary. I am black. I really want to know how how did Jesus pay our diary, and and what and what the um Jesus is jealous over us. That's my two questions. Okay, answer, please. Everybody can answer the question. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just to be sure of the first question that she asked, is it that uh, she's asking if how did Jesus pay our diary? Yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the bride, and we are all the groom waiting for him to come. He paid our bright price by that. Look at the bride. No, the other way around. In the other way around, <laughs> sir. It's our husband man that we are all waiting for. Because you asked the question, even Minister Ferdinand raised his hand. In the groom, we are the bride. Okay. Jesus Christ is the groom that we are all waiting for. So we are the bride. Yeah. So, in other words, Jesus Christ, he paid our bright price with his blood he shed his blood on the cross of calvary for us all so let's say now a man is married to a woman so like the word of god said and the man shall pay uh, how many shekels to the father so you must pay a bright price so that bright price the, the there is the love that the husband have for the wife made him to go and pay the bright price so that bright price is attached to that love. But the love that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have for us, it's priceless. It's for free. He died for us. He paid the bright price for us by sharing his blood on the cross of Calvary for us. And it gave us... Amen. That is the question. Mm -hmm. a long time ago. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The other one. Yes, two questions, right? Yes, two questions. What's the next question then? Uh, my second question was, you, um, I said, why, uh, why did Jesus is jealous over us? That was my second question. Why is Jesus jealous over you? Now, use your husband. Now, why is your husband jealous over you? Huh? Uh, I don't know, sir. Sorry, 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 just me. Why is your husband jealous? Your real husband, now, why is he jealous over you? Why is he jealous over me? Mm. Because he do not want anybody to touch me. He do not want me to go with another man. Or... So why is, he, why is he doing that? Because he loves me so much. Yeah, he puts so much. I love that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have a contribution to that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, 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 I call you, 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 you speak so that you don't be ready. Okay, since you are here to the Lord, just say, so, just say, but don't, let, let nobody just say, uh, when you are called, you so, uh, Mr. Minister, Minister okay. and you let me just take over, please. So that I will, okay, okay sir. Yes, Mr. Uh, Okoji. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, just as our sister has said before, so, like, the man don't want to lose, he don't want to lose the wife. So, Jesus Christ don't want to lose us to the other man, which is the devil. So, he loves us so much, he don't want us to. You don't want to lose us. So that is the reason why he's jealous. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't want to lose you. What is people about you that don't want to lose you? He don't want he don't want us to go to the way of the devil. He don't want us to go to the other way. He want us to to stay with him because he already died for us. He loves us, you know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before Mr. Fed, I saw all many hands just now. Okay. One person, the head is, I can't see white white cap. Who is that? 
Okay. Hey, Zumi, sir. Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I have to say, okay, to answer the question you asked, Sister Rachel, why is her husband jealous over her? Because he he has paid the price price and the price price he paid is to have her to himself alone no man will pay bright price over a woman and see another man you know coming close to her or doing anything that is not uh, acceptable so jesus christ has jesus christ has paid what is even more than a bright price the ultimate sacrifice with his uh, precious blood so he doesn't want anyone, he doesn't want us going about and prostituting, you know, with, you know, any uh, uh, beggarly elements or anything. So he wants to have us to himself alone. That is why if we do anything offensive, he's jealous. He is not happy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you said something, no man will pay bread price or be happy to see another man, another man with the wife. I don't think so. Yeah. Because there's no man with his right senses. Because I've seen men in Europe here, they pay that because their wife is in a different position. They are bringing money to the man. Am I, am I right here? Yeah, that, that's it, sir. Some greedy men. Yeah, okay. So no man with right senses can do that. No matter how the money is. <laughs> so if you say no man, you might, you might be wrong. So so men does it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any other person? So, sorry, uh, can I say something, sir? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I think the, the whole answers are very accurate. But there's something I want us, you know, to really make clear to Sister Mercy Reddy ask that question. You know, because of the way she understood, you know, the, the teaching. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ used uh, uh, our mortal self to, uh, uh, to be able to explain how he loved us. So she now is now saying that because she knows that jealousy is a sin. Uh -huh. Physically, husband paid a bright price. But how did Jesus Christ, you know, begin to jealous when he told us not to be jealous and he didn't pay bright price? And thank God, you know, for the answers that came, especially uh, like the like last speaker. Uh, Jesus Christ paid a, a, a price that is much more than a bright price with his own life. So uh, the, 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 why Jesus Christ wants to have us alone is that because he paid a bride price much more than bride price. John 15, I said, I said, greater love had no man that a man can lay down his life. There's no man today that can say, they can give before you marry this woman, come and die for us. Nobody would do that. But he supersedes that. So he, 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 he has everything it takes, you know, to have us as his own wife. That's why he told us again, uh, I think in um, Ephesians, um, uh, uh, yeah, Ephesians uh, uh, 5, uh, 24 to 25 to 26, where he said, therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. So he did much more than a physical bride price can do. So he is entitled to every uh, to our entirety. So that's why uh, anybody that goes beyond uh, in physical, you know, any woman that goes uh, to do those things like uh, uh, Apostle of, uh, taught us today through the Spirit of Most High God is dirty, especially the last instance that he gave. That some men, even paying the bride price, that should tell you the limitation a man can be. Yet he still have the mind to to say, pay their wife to go and uh, uh, prostitute and bring money. It's very dirty, even in the ear, you know. But that's to tell us the difference between Christ and man. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I believe that question is well answered. Amen. Amen. Uh, Sister Edith. Praise the Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. I have two questions, and then the other one is a little bit of explanation of the message. There's something I don't understand fully. But the first question is, uh, my first question is, uh, how can one cherish his or herself more than 
God. How can one change his or herself more than God? Yes. Okay. Any other? How can you cherish or love yourself more than God? Yes, sir. You can't love yourself more than God. It's possible. No, no, don't say that. Shall I give a good question? Well, just, I, I, just, I said no chorus uh, answer. Hmm? Wait, wait, school. You go school. Okay, Sister Veronica. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe this way that whenever you don't cherish your God as his superior hybrid of your life, you think you own your life, you, you have everything, everything is from your sins. Yeah. So, which means you, you love yourself more than, your, more than God. You depend, on your, you depend on your own capacity that you are doing. Everything comes to you from you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, Stemade? Yes, sir. I don't know if you said something just now. Okay, you just, you just do that one. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Sister because Mady. I can't see, uh, personally, I can't speak of other people. I can't see myself loving myself more than God that created me. That is now, not before. Before you, when you do, you do Jerry, Jerry Coyne. <laughs> Yeah, those times were the times of ignorance. Yeah, I value myself and I love myself more than God. But now that I know the truth and the truth has sent me free, so I now love and cherish God more than myself. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The, uh, the way one can cherish his or own self more than God is when you are doing everything for your own interest alone. You don't think about God. Everything you just want to do is for your own gain. You don't care about other people. You, you take this world as if it's your own. You have a job. You just walk and walk. You don't even have time for God. So in, in other words, it's just doing everything for your own interest and not regarding God as anything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, but the special grace of God, like uh, what uh, the Lord Sister says, Sister Imade, I want you to have this in mind that anytime the Spirit of God asks you to go to evangelism and you refuse, you have just loved yourself more than God. So, I uh, just told that one so that you can be careful of that area. So, in another hand, to what our sister has said, that is number one. Another one, maybe for example, right now, as we are fasting now, not that you don't, not that you are sick. You just, you look at your fridge that every food you are in need of, they are there. Uh, you say, uh, if I fast now, this food may spoil. You have just loved yourself more than a God. Ah, uh, I don't want, ah, uh, this is my fine body. This, ah, uh, can't you see how my body looks like? I, you don't want me to get me and you refuse to fast. You pamper yourself. The time you're supposed to be studying the word of God, you are on computer. You are doing another thing on YouTube, watching other things, other movies. You are just love yourself more than God. Go to evangelism. Uh, in this way, but if it is work, you are you will do. But go to evangelism. Ah, uh, the weather is not good. But you never tell who you are working for that the weather is not good. That you can't come to job today. So you have just loved yourself more than God. Praise the Lord. Um, Hallelujah. Anything you are allowed to replace what God expects you to do, and you refuse to do it, you have just loved yourself more than God. I pray the Lord will be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Alicia, 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 so the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature, all things are passed away. Sorry, moment. Sir? Sorry, moment now, Abi. Yes, sir. A few days ago, I was born again. We were all born again. Okay. All right. Say, say go. I'm not going to say that. Say go. Okay, see ya. See, see. I'm now. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. It's worse. I've been raising my hand. I'm at work now. I, 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 I paused for that time to, to say something. I'm at work since I stopped for that time to say something. Okay. Oh, you know. oh, sorry about that, okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you're looking for today. <laughs> Sister Adige, the beauty. Beauty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a brother, uh, brother Francis said. So it's true, sir. It's true because I have one sister here. Is a born again sister. I don't know. When she came to my house, she has um, all those uh, uh, perfume and. Uh, he uh, a happy this thing and uh, the cream that uh, is bleachy, like a uh, fair and white, she using it. So I told I told that why are you still using all those? He said you are born again. He said, yeah. Do you want uh, do you want to go out to go and smell it because I want to serve God? So it's true. Somebody can love is uh, more than God. So yeah. it's true. Sir. Hallelujah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Sister Doris. I thought she was living hand. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To uh, to also say just let's go quickly read first John chapter four. Eighteen to nineteen to twenty one. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. 19. We love him because he first loved us. 20. If a man say, I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. And, and he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? 21. And this commandment have we, have we from him, that he, that he who loveth God love his brother also. Amen. Uh, now, who is your brother? Everybody. You love everybody. Can you both say that I love everybody who are Everybody. Sincerely. Somebody, this is here. Can, uh, uh, can any of us here say, can both say, I love everybody the whole world? So oh. much. No. So now this is love God number that I said. Casina, we don't love God. Hmm? <laughs> yes, <laughs> quiet, quietness everywhere now. <laughs> oh, see, in 30 minutes there was quietness in heaven. <laughs> so this has just nailed it. We say you love God and you hate your brother. And you ask me is your brother. Anyone created from God is your brother. No matter what the person have done, no matter the evil he have done, is your brother. You must love him do you love God. So it's, it's hard. So I pray from this moment, including me, the Lord will give us the grace to love him. I say him, me, you, 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 everybody. Amen. I will not be able to love everybody in the world. Don't go there. You to enter heaven is not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. It's by the mercy of God. 
in uh, Fifth Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. Check it. That's what it's all. Okay. Our Bible readers. First yeah. Corinthians 2, 2 16. Uh, he said that to the one we are the savior of that mountain. Who so, uh, had known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. That's 216. Mm. We have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is a mind that he was able to love us so much and die for us. He loved everybody equally, both the Muslim. If you go to the Bible, you see how you hug them. See most of them, I see your eye will change. No matter you're happy, just hear a woman now that, that, that wear this thing. You're, 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 you must, you're, there's something must happen to you. What kind of hatred must come before you, maybe later you don't start gathering love again? But Christ is not so. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, no, I don't know. No, no, if you get to see Philippians chapter 2. 5 to 11, you know the love, the love we're talking about here. Let this man be in you, which was also in Christ. Died for us and did everything. So I believe God will help us to love the way he loves so that we can, we can really say, yes, we love God now in Jesus Christ. Next in there. Amen. So the next person. No, sir, you're not finished. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> but this one, the other... Sir? Sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The second one is, uh, how can one know the the physical and the spiritual part aspect aspect of the body that God don't want uh, any other person to see. Oh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody, Hallelujah. anybody can answer the question? Mr. Red already know the answer. Okay, Mr. Messi Red. Okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. Um, it's your body that um that God does not want any anyone to see. So that's why He won't like He wants you to cover your body from your head to your toes to cover up. Amen. Amen. So she's asking now which which type of the body, right? Yes. Spiritually and uh, spiritually, physically, yes. Spiritually, physically, which type of the body do you want? God. That God, God don't want any other person to see, especially the one spiritually. So I don't understand that. Now, if you say anybody to see, can anybody see a spiritual person? Is, it, is there any flesh or air you can see a spiritual person? No, sir. Can the physical eye see a spiritual body? Uh, no, 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 no. no. So we are asking a question now. Which, can, which are spiritual body that God wants us to see? It's, it's somehow. Mm. Any other person before I come in? This is Amudube, you don't have to right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, like um, the question she asked, uh, uh, what part of our body that God does not want, uh, that God does not want people to see? So like Sister Mercy Red said, that is a, your, may probably maybe your outward appearance, maybe the way you dress or something like that. But if I may say in the spiritual aspect of it, because as a child of God, we are the light of the world. If we are the light of the world and anywhere we go, so people know that these are children of God. And then maybe inwardly, you, you have a very dirty character. And because you are carrying Christ already, so that, that dirty character in you, you're supposed to, as a child of God, be able to, to work on yourself and purge that character away with the blood of Jesus Christ or call the help of God. But if you still know that you have this weakness in you inwardly, and then people are seeing you outwardly that you carry Jesus Christ, and maybe you now go, into, you now go to a place and uh, maybe somebody offends you, you just reacted like the way the worldly people would do. You have just disgraced God like that. So God wouldn't want to see that. So that means, in other words, inwardly, you have to go and work on yourself spiritually. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Any other person? 
Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In addition to what uh, Sister Mudupe has just said, I believe by the grace of God she has really uh, said it all. In addition to that, we can look at the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse uh, uh, 1. He said, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all fitness of the flesh and uh, our spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. That is the spirit now, as our sister have just said, the spiritual body is the, is the, is the heart, the inner man, which the Lord expects that he don't, that is, he don't want that is, you should not allow anything unclean. He don't want to see anything unclean in your spirit man. Why in the flesh? He doesn't want he don't want to see anything also fitting. As you clothe your physical body, clothe your spiritual body with holiness. Your spiritual body is is expected to be clothed with holiness, with every uh, attitude, character image of Christ like the knife fruit of the Holy Spirit you want to see it in you that is the spiritual body now praise the Lord hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah, hallelujah. I can say I rest my case with what even the ones that I said already have second if I just to add to it so that is really the answer to that, I don't know if uh, uh, sister uh, edit you get it, yes, sir. Hallelujah. So, the, the other one, okay. The, the last one is uh, you the way this message is, I don't 100%, I can't understand everything because I don't understand everything because is it because the person is fed dog, they want to go out of the way of the Lord, or I, I don't understand the, 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 the everything about message is it because uh, sin or i don't know the message you preached so a little bit i don't understand everything because some people in maybe they are tired they don't want to wait for god anymore or they are passing through difficulties they are just fed up they want to go out of the, the way of the law so i don't understand everything about this message there may be with many questions that goes on in the because I have question which I've already can, can anybody um, make me to understand what you say now? You don't understand the message if people going out of the way they go, they are fed up. Yeah, maybe their situation they are tired now, they don't want to wait on God anymore, they just want to go and look for other ways to solve their own problem. Ask me who, who are the people I'm talking to now. Yeah, this message you preach, because that's why I don't understand some... So, this... okay, if they are the people I'm preaching to? Yes, sir. When that is like that. Okay, okay, I'll answer that question. Before we begin to answer, I think um, for her to say she doesn't understand the, the message, but it is out of the message that she asks some questions that we are deliberating upon. Yes, sir. No, I mean, so, yes. Uh -huh. yes. So, which means you understood... Uh, I'm coming... Which means you understood the message, but it could have helped us so that we don't stay here to, uh, because of our question. It could have been better if we understand the, the area of the message that you did not get right. You understand? Uh, so that will that will uh, shorten it so other people can. Uh, uh, can you go to the area you don't understand? Yes, like uh, that one. He said that uh, they are they are going around like it's following another man and. Uh, those men are wearing body or something like that. So I don't understand the meaning of that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Actually, uh, I wanted to bring this as a question. Uh, not that I don't understand it. Uh, I, I, in order for us to understand, like uh, what uh, the servant of God was saying about going around. Those going around, those people around is the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Those people that are carrying body hog now, it's not just human beings. These are the same. These are anger. These are bitterness. These are hatred. Yeah. So uh, I was asking the question, uh, I wanted to, I have it is to ask the question to because uh, for people to understand what the servant of God was saying. 
it's not just a human being. Those uh, 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 anger, they are, they are, they, they build up themselves. To, they are ready to cast your soul to hell. Mm. Bitterness, they are very, they are grab. If you, if you see their them in spirit, you will know they are youth than the house you are living in. So they are, they have built up themselves, hit their self, hit their chair before the devil, and say, "I will bring her to hell." So these are the things that we don't need to yield. To when they come, these are the body. Uh, these are the people that are that we should not sleep around with. We should not accept into our lives, into our hearts. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In other words, what the man of God used there is a figurative expression. You understand? To compare, uh, that does not mean a physical man like uh, the man of God just said. Uh, uh, when Christ, uh, you know. Uh, uh, wants to, you know, to tell us something, when he said we are the salt of the earth, it doesn't mean we are return to salt, okay? But it makes us understand, you know, what salt can do, even in our physical food. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First Corinthians, it's Corinthians 10, verse 5. First Corinthians 10, 5. I read in Jesus' name. Second Corinthians 10, 5. Casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted himself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You get that now? Anything that want to read that said above who God said is to you, bring it down. All those external, all those lies, all those uh, envy, jealousy, all those. Uh, and it's not all. Those are the people, those are the things I say they wear body hog. Because as all these people wear body hog, want to pull people out of marriage. That's how those, any sin at all, want to pull you out of the way of God. So it's not for the people that say, I'm not fed up now, I cannot know. Anybody that does those things, they are all the same. So go help us to submit them to, to God's uh, power in Jesus Christ's mercy name. Amen. Are you doma? Yes, sir. Okay. Um. The next person is um. Daphne. Uh, Daphne. Yeah. Yeah, Praise the Lord. Daphne. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um. First of all, I thank the man of God for the message because it's actually a very important to me. Yesterday, when I went out, we, we, had, we were having a training. So the way I dressed, I was saying Rapa and all my body was, was covered. There was this colleague of mine that he has not seen me for a very long time. And, but the time after he saw I was in the world wearing all those half half dresses. So um, as yesterday when he saw me, I greeted him. He was very he was surprised. He looked for he looked at me head to toe and like I have changed. What has happened to me? So when the 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 the, the training on about living, he and like how you to do uh, uh, at the in the world sometimes you talk to somebody and you get to talk to the person. So when he tried to touch my, my arm, I told him that, no, don't touch me. My husband will not be happy if he sees that. He shouted, he asked that, when did I got married and I didn't invite him to my, to my marriage? In my mind, when I said my husband is, uh, will, will get angry, it was uh, Jesus that I was talking about. But him physically, he knows now that he's, he's someone physical. He said that, he then he was like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he still wants to do it again, and I rebuke him. So I want to ask that, is it a sin if I said that? Is it a sin if I say it to some other person? What, what, what you are saying now is, if you, if you say, to be proud of who your husband is. Yes. That's, That's what, Jesus. Naturally, is it a sin to be proud of your own husband? Naturally. Obviously, yes. So, is it a taboo or a sin for a woman to be proud of her husband, naturally? 
it's yes, it's, it's not a taboo. Now, if it's not a sin for you to be proud of your husband, naturally, doesn't mean that means to be proud of God is God is even much more. So I will tell you, I'm not well. I'm not well. So what you did, what you did was not a bad thing at all. To tell her, to tell him that you are insulting my husband with this old. So all we need to, need to go do now, let's go and pray. Does this is this woman married? And the Lord will be feeling to him. I say, ah, I am the husband of that girl. I also want you to also be my wife too. But I will suggest to you next time, after I've said uh, I am married, let them know it's Jesus Christ. Hmm? Yes, sir, but I, I told him that it is not the, because last time, as I said, that he, he was walking like in a hunger, in a, in a fast mood. After I told him that it's not a physical husband, no. so. So just follow it up. My husband, Jesus, will not be happy. You. Just follow it. So you don't touch my husband, Jesus, will not be happy. So God grant us more wisdom in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Sister Modupe. Disregard it, sir. Some okay. way, somehow, somebody else asked the question. But, meanwhile, uh, sister, are you, are you clear? Sister Daphne? Sister Daphne? I think she said yes. Okay. Sister, what's the Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My first question. How many, how many are we expecting? Sorry? How many are we expecting? <laughs> <laughs> My first question. It's not that question. So I say, how many are we expecting so that we know how to sit down? Oh, no, it's just two. It's okay. Just okay. My first question is taken from First um, Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. <laughs> It says, if a man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Now, I want to ask a woman who has given her life to Christ just a few days ago, has given the life again to Christ just a few days ago, and this woman has bitterly been molested, be, 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 uh, be molested in the dream, in the sleep, in the spiritual, that uh, powers of darkness are molesting her. What is God waiting for? And He has paid the price. He has to be jealous of that person. He has paid the price on that person. Why is He allowing that to happen? And my second question is: He has created us and made us to have special parts that only our husbands. Our wives should see the past. What is prompting the men or the women to be lost in after another person? Those are my two questions. Hallelujah. Who can, who can throw light on this, this, this question? I'm really sorry I wasn't considering because I was writing somebody. <laughs> I'm not going to the question. Hallelujah. Sorry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, in the first place, like the first uh, uh, question you ask, uh, uh, the certain is that uh, although it may happen that some days ago that person was married to the husband, uh, I, I believe the, the the person, if such a thing happened, I believe the person there are still that the person do not surrender that uh, that is there's something the person need to do. The person has to do some work that God is expecting uh, him or her to do that makes him to fall down. And, uh, and at the same time, uh, he has his own time to do what he, he has to do. Praise the Lord. It may happen that the person before uh, she came, for example, uh, okay, thank you, Spirit of God. He can, he, let's say, for example, such a person, such a woman, if another man now came and starts arising the woman, it may happen the woman do not settle. It maybe he, he promised that man before 
that uh, they are going both to going to marry. And now, unknown to that person, he, he promised that man before that. Uh, but Jesus admitted you. God bless you, sir. By the grace of God, and 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 on on knowing it, the man, the woman land left him. Uh, and may why that one have even uh, maybe they have printed a card and even scheduled the date of uh, their marriage. And uh, unfortunately, he had that the woman of uh, course got married without settling the background with that person. If that person starts arresting the woman, the woman uh, is, is faulty because do not settle, do not let, uh, break the covenant he was having together with the person before. Maybe they did a block covenant. It will it will still affect the person if they do not rectify that issue before it go ahead to uh, uh, attach herself to another man. So in the background is I believe that is the cause that it need to settle before before it jump into another one. Because if, for example, now somebody who gave himself now, you want I want to ask this question: If now you became a born again and you, there was restitution you need to do. Are you not going to tell me that because you are not a born again, that restitution should not be done? So, in another hands, that restitution, I am born again, uh, the blood of Jesus Christ has paid the price. It's not all. You need to go and do that restitution in order for your salvation to flow with the man. If the person who you are hoeing that you need to do restitution with is still disturbing you, the, law, uh, the husband will not say, ah, uh, he, she's not married to me, so there's no need for that restitution. The husband, if the husband is wise, he will ask, Ah, why didn't you settle this issue before? Before any uh, going ahead to do uh, another thing. I don't know if you understand uh, this. Amen. Another person. Yeah, Amen. My, I mean, to, uh, in relation to what my brother has said, uh, the Bible may call to understand in the book of uh, Psalm 11, said, if the foundation be broken, what can the righteous do? To the Lord. Hallelujah. You, you born again, and you are in covenant with, uh, with God that way, does not mean that uh, uh, you, are, you are born again has covered everything. You are born again is the first step in your uh, in your in your in your personal life, so the pastors, uh, the man of God, may come to understand. Uh, the man of God said one time uh, of a pastor who was filled with the power of Holy Ghost, he could not deliverance, do everything, but he was still masturbating. Praise the Lord! Or he was still uh, uh, wetting his bed every night. Amen. So there is there is there is on God's so tight that is still you know. Uh, 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 in, in control somewhere, you need to be different. You need to ask a question. What have I, I mean, what, what is, what, where is the problem coming from? What, is, what have I done? Or what is going on? Maybe there are covenant your forefather, you know, your parents enter uh, uh, into with you even before you were born. There are family that they, they, they have, you know, understanding, generational covenant that every Children of that family must die at, at, at a certain age. And if that if that covenant is not broken, if that cause is not broken, at that time the the, 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 the man or woman that stage in that family it must die. Praise the Lord. We, we had we have uh, you know the man of the man of God, you know, testify of somebody who in their family they don't exceed 40 or so. And then it was the turn of this woman not to die. When she was, when, when to go to Nigeria for the for the woman brother, I said, "Look, my sister, if you go, you will not come back. You have to pray for the one to be delivered." So my sister, getting I mean, being born again is not it doesn't cover everything. You have to really dig down into your foundation and know where the problem lies before, if you cry out to God, God can deliver you. But you have to find out if what is going on is being caused by yourself. Or by the prince, or where the problem lies. That is the first step you have to take. Praise Pastor Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, this is uh, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, my brothers, they've all spoken when. Um, 
I just want to add this to you that in life, we just have to be factual here. God is not a wicked God and his word cannot be broken. When things happen to us in life, we tend to say, but why is God? Why is God? But the honest truth is that it's not really God. God is not a wicked God. Most of the things that we go through in life, most of it spiritual and physical, unfortunately or some way that God understands better, we, we brought it upon ourselves. So one thing I've come to realize is this, when things are happening in our lives and it's recurrent, it keeps happening, happening, happening. Just like the minister has said, what we have to do as a child of God is, we just have to take it a step further. We have to fast. We have to wait. We have to really, really, really wait upon the Lord to show us the root, the root of why we are going through what we are going through. Sometimes prayer is not enough. We have to make inquiry prayers as in God, please. Why is this thing happening to me? Why is this thing persistent in my life? It will just take a word from God that my daughter, my son, this is the reason why you are going through what you are going through. I would just ask God to please give us the, um, the solution to the problem. And he's a good God, he's not a wicked God. He will tell us the answer. And what he does, we'll just have answer to whatever the situation is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, like what Sister Dejo said, that our God is not a wicked God. But sometimes, like most of us, we come to really know Christ because we were one problem or the other. That was what made us to know Christ. And now that we have no God, and maybe it was even through that problem that God was able to get our attention because we were all doing everything by our own selves. We can even go anywhere, call any pastor, not even thinking where is his powers coming from because we want fast solutions to our problem. But by the time we all now met Christ, and now God, we have all given our life to Christ, genuinely and now you have already surrendered to god and it's because of that problem that make you not really run to christ because even the ones that you relied on the other maybe pastors prophet native daughters they were not able to help and now that you have no god you have surrendered to god and because of this now you are very fervent you are here you, you like you are obeying God. You are doing the things of God very well. And maybe, I'm just saying, that I'm not saying that this is what God does. Maybe sometimes, if that problem, God just settles everything. Some people will not, God, everything is not fine with you. You will see some people will just start, they, they will forget God again. They will just relax again and go, go back to their normal self. The things they used to do for God, they won't do it again. But if that is that, and sometimes if it's the problem that we are passing through, that we even make God get our attention, sometimes it can persist for a while, you know. It might be a training process until the person is not really grinded. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, God bless you, my beloved sister. Uh, all the people that spoke spoke very well, and the, our beloved sister that asked the question. Uh, she asked a very uh, uh, important question. I, the word of God cannot be contradicted. Maybe before she asked this question, there are some Bible verses that are going on uh, 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 in her mind. Maybe she might be remembering that the Bible said in the book of Second Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, it's not a new creation. All things are passed away. Now everything becomes new. Yeah, that's the word of God. That is true. We are serving a spirit God. You are not in Christ Jesus. Genuinely, all things are passed away. Like uh, the last speaker that said, even Apostle Paul, among the whole apostles, you know, we can recall him that he, 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 he did much more more, more than more, many of them. But there came a time that he even asked God if this thing can pass away. Even Jesus Christ asked it. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. So sometimes, sometimes 
things may be happening in our life to check methods. That does not mean that God is still no longer God or he does not answer. He's not a wicked God. Now, another aspect is this, like the, the people that spoke earlier. You know, that's why we keep talking about this covenant foundation. They are very, very powerful. Blood is very, very powerful. So until God reveals, until the root of the matter is being attacked, that's when he uh, said, okay, Abel, uh, uh, Ken was uh, killed by his brother. And the Bible said, until death, uh, his blood is still crying for vengeance. So until, you know, that covenant, that agreement is being broken. Most of us, the people we know is our, uh, 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 our direct fathers. Even most of us who are so young, maybe their, their fathers died. Some of us that will still have the privilege, maybe we will still have our father. Then what about our forefathers? Even our fathers don't know them. But what they did is still, if not being broken, is still affecting our life today. So uh, 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 when uh, somebody gives his, his our life to Christ and he is continue to see some things, that does not mean that God does not exist. It does. That God that can still keep you alive while you are still looking for the solution. It's still God. Because without him, that thing could have, you know, taken the person off uh, since then. So keep on uh, uh, praying. Keep what you are doing sincerely. With time, you will say that God is at work. One day, what has a beginning must have an end. In as much as he did not back up, God must one day, you know, reveal that which is hidden. And when it is being handled, you will give yourself. In as much as God is with you, in as much as God is, is say, well, uh, with you, yeah, trial may come, they may be fixed, but that will not, they will not write the last chapter of your life. At the end, God will surely glorify himself. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sister Doris. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for this um, uh, message and for the question our sister has to just add to what uh, our brethren have said. You know, because uh, in a situation like this, this is spiritual. This is not something maybe physical we are talking about. This is spiritual. Somebody sleeping and being molested in the dream. And maybe if you wake up physical, then you see your body one way or the other. You understand? So what am I trying to say? Because due to the lifestyle we have lived before, because when we give our life to the Lord, due to the way we live, due to where God picked us from, it is good that we give our life to the Lord to settle down, to realize, to go step by step, to ask the Holy Spirit, the areas that I have been in when I was in the world, please try to show me and let me begin to name there after the table it before God. Write the one you can write at. The, if, I just want to give myself as an example here. I, like what happened to me, even when I was little, my, junior bro my brother's still sleeping with me. I didn't remember it when I gave my life to Christ. But the Holy Spirit is the one that remember me. You understand what I'm trying to explain? Is the one that remember me. This is what happened. Then I now realize that, ah, happened. So I did the restitution with my father. And I did it with my mother's sister too. Because think about the past. What you have done, what you put your hand into when you were outside there. And the people you made covenant with, the man you promised here and there, the people you slept with, why? Holy Spirit, remember me there. So that I will know if it's the one affecting me spiritually because it's an open door to all things. May God help us. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. So I was just going to add to what Minister Ferdinand had said. In this situation, if somebody finds himself or herself in this situation, one of the things a person could do is to verbally say, I break every covenant I have with darkness, or I break any covenant or i break any covenant anybody went into on my behalf to keep breaking breaking what's a very powerful and it works i know it works to keep breaking those covenants as you are breaking them that person is also pleasing the blood of jesus who will be tired 
keep breaking, 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 breaking because the Bible says and two work together unless they agree. If you don't agree with them, I see no reason why anybody want to molest you, um, anybody in the dream and everything. Disagree with them. When they are coming, just tell them I disagree with you before you speak. Just break and destroy those covenants. And with time, with time, with time, I believe it will end. I believe it will end in Jesus' name. So that's what I'm going to contribute as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have all spoken very, very well. Very, very well. This is the fact. Everything we have all said is the truth. Well, let me see something here. They say, Sister, one time, Sister Angel, my daddy will know this, Sister. Sister will always have something pain in her. Do a pressure, it will come out again. Do a pressure, it will come out again. There was one operation they now did. Oh God. They almost tear her. They would tear her. It's as if they, they, that, that one, they used her to do practical. From her here, they just tear. I said, I said, God, what is all this? One day, as I went to their church, every that time, they, they used to invite me for deliverance. As we did it, as, as I was praying one day with them, these neighbors, as we were praying, 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 the, the Spirit of God said, said to me, Hold her hand. I said, I should hold, her, hold this hand. I said, ah, What am I hearing now? I said, Hold her in this hand. I, I just walked to the girl, to the, sorry, not girl, a woman, the, the sister. As I hold this hand, she screamed, she shouted. God said to me, she had a blood covenant long time ago. She had already forgotten. So that blood she leaked that time is the one caused that caused that problem. I said, wow. As I was praying, praying, that she started manifesting. Started confessing. That she entered into a, a blood covenant with a young boy one time, long, long time ago. Now she had married, married another man, another man, and the blood they leaked that time is now working. It's not the one do that do that thing, and that thing will kill her if kept on taking. Let her pray, 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 pray. She now manifested the blood, everything vomited, made things happen that day. She vomited as she staggered and got up. I said, hey, my dear sister, can you remember? Do you remember? Do you, do you know what? what the, I said, no, I don't, I don't know anything. I said, now, now you are back. I said, yes. Can you remember the block called when you enter into somebody? You look, she shouted. It's her apostle. Yes, I remember I did block confidence so for a long time ago. I have forgotten. So the demon that joined put together that time just manifested. You thought you just leak all I said now, can you remember the hand that you caught? He said this hand. And that was exactly the hand, the hand God said she hold. Say this was the hand. I say, you see now. It was just this finger that ever since for years you have been going through pain. I will come here, you will fall, you get up. You will fall, you get up. You fall. I will not, I will even tell of her deliverance. Anytime I come there, she will manifest. I will say, Ah, God, thank you, she will have delivered. If I knew it, if you come again. But after that day, when she vomited, and confess that this thing to today, she never goes to operation again. So all you be praying that God, please make, locate that thing. You will be, it might be just lost one small mistake somewhere. And if you are not challenging God, where's my God now? You are even elongating it, elongating it. And then God see this, because see your life, you are even making it longer. All you to be, take it as if. Take the blame. God, 
wherever I've seen, deliver me. I've, learn from uh, Daniel. Before Israel could re receive deliverance uh, from Babylon, then they pray a prayer. In, in this Daniel chapter 1 or so. I have seen, Daniel does not know. I have seen, my father has have seen, we are wicked. God, you are righteous. We are wicked. I am wicked. Because God saw how he was insulting himself. I am wicked. The Bible never uh, said anything about that he seen one day. There was not a place where he did not get married to a, a, a woman. From a child, he said, I have made up my mind not to sin against God, not to defend myself from that very chapter 1 verse 8. Till the end, there was never a place where he, he sinned. But yet, when he wanted to approach God, see Daniel, I am a wicked man. I and my father has, we have seen. And God, when God saw his sincerity, God came down and delivered his name. That's what you should be doing. Don't say, okay, I'm mine now. Uh, let me see what God will do. Will do. He will fall this and believe at you. I know something. If the wife there, God forbid. Not affecting you. So what you should be doing, God, we have seen. My prayers have sinned against you. My girlfriend has said, Father, that sin, that particular sin that you need to know, reveal it to me. You see, one day, either to any of the minister, one day be surprised, we just be we just be this month here. We just speak. My son, tell her, so so so. And that'll be the end. Please. So keep pressing on. Keep praying. It has beginning, it must really have end. Amen. And I know the end is no more far away. Jesus Christ mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So there was another question, right? Yes, sir. She asked two questions. What was the other one? I said, um, God has made a, a man to, to keep some parts, certain parts that only the wife can see and certain parts only the, the man can see or the woman. Why is it that they still go out to lust after a um, man or woman? But by the way, I want to say the first question, I thank you both all for your contribution. But why I'm so worried because I understand so that uh, you don't say go to hell, go to hell, you cannot make it right, mm. eh? No, because mm. this is like an, an initiation that my own grandmother oh, initiated a, a little child that don't don't know anything. As innocent as a child, and that I was, I don't know anything. Now, thank God now that I just said this one now. Even Mr. Fenner coming one day, he told me, let me, let me, let me stop there. Don't, don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. We, they, 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 we have a plan. Okay? Sister, Sister Pusha Day, this fast and prayer, just follow up. Me and Mr. Fenner, we, we really spoke about you. I'm not trying to make you happy here. It's here right now. Just relax. Just keep confessing your sin. Okay? Keep reporting him. Lord, see what he did to me as a little child. Just, don't, just keep on saying it. And you will see what God will do. With the ministers, in your case, we are not resting. You. It's okay. No, no problem. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I said, I didn't even remember that day when uh, that day when I went to Hago, he would uh, reveal the name of the person to me. Well, the person said that I went the big covenant with. He just wrote me now perfectly. Because he must have denied me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next person. Okay, this one I'll be answered. Yes. She said, how can somebody uh, love and uh, marry and be lost about after somebody? Mm. 
to cancer. How can that happen? You are married, you are lost after somebody. Yes, it's about, uh, religion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I would think that it's not really the person, it's just the, the unclean spirits in that person in question that is making him or him or her to lust after other people. When the Bible has warned us not to lust after, after other people, it's just the, the bad spirit inside that person. That's what I would think. It's not really the person per se. The person is just allowing the demon inside him or her to be lost in after other people's wives or other people. I mean, that's what I would, that's what I would think. Praise the Lord. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, to add to what my sister has said, has said um, I would say it's the works of the flesh. As a Christian, if we haven't dealt with the flesh, if the flesh is still alive, if the flesh is not dead, then it will still control our life. It will still manifest in one way or the other. If that is the way we behave before we accept Christ, and when we now we are now in Christ, we have not dealt, we have not surrendered that aspect of our lives to Christ, you know, to deal with, it will still manifest even as a Christian. You know, so that is what I want to add to it. Hallelujah. Amen. Any other person? So this will... yes, I Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, as a child of God, if you know if, if the person knows that uh, he or she has the spirit of lust, because you will definitely know that you are lost in over somebody. If you have really received Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, and you know that that thing is a sin. You have to deal with it through prayers. If you can't, consult deliverance. You can call the men of God to help you. But in a situation whereby somebody knows that he or she have uh, the spirit of lust, and you are still, like, if you are not enjoying it, you will look for a solution. If the person is not enjoying it, the person will look for a solution. But in another way around, at least we are not babies. Somebody that have the spirit of loss, we at least be of the age, most of the time, be of the age of sleeping with a man or a woman. So if you know that when you put your hand inside hot water, it will burn you. So also you should know that that spirit is a bad spirit that this is not my wife, this is not my husband. What I am doing is wrong. So what I would advise is the person should seek help from God, seek deliverance, and pray God will deliver the person in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. It's, uh, Doris. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, this uh, question is a part of physical and spiritual. You know, because when we look at the aspect, because some of us, we are talking about the spiritual aspect now. When we look at about the physical aspect, it also with the man and the woman between lady to God as husband and wife. Because there is no way where a man can satisfy his wife, being there for his wife, then the wife will be lost in after. But the spiritual aspect, that one is a battle. We know that that one is spiritual because that one is lost. For example, if a man tells his husband, if a, maybe a woman tells his husband, this is why I love my husband to dress. This is why I want my husband to be to be clean, to be new, and it's making everything to be possible. And the man is doing it another way around. That that kind of something where the woman seen a man that dress that do what he desire. That why is this not? Why my husband is not dressing like this? Depends on how she wants it to be, but the man is not doing it; just doing it on his own. So another aspect is as a husband and wife, you must have time for yourself. Praise God! No matter how you say you are busy or you are tired. We are human beings. We are, we, are, we are human beings. There, there is blood flowing in us. If you are not there for your, for your wife, you just keep her as a firewood or the man there as a firewood. Whenever I need you, you say you are not there. We are matured here. Yeah. Maybe whenever I need you, you say you are not there, you are busy. Uh, even if we are born again, we must have time for each other. 
to be there to satisfy our flesh. God put it there for us. Praise the Lord. Because if you cannot do that one for your wife, and you are making your wife to lose, that is the physical aspect I'm talking about. You are making her to lose after after the men are there. Thinking, uh, this is like, no, it's not. We have to be really, uh, to be really truthful here. Because we are all matured, what we are talking about. Why the spiritual aspect, that one is lost. The set are bringing it in our hand in order to, you know, that's how we are dealing with it. So that we know lost. That's why the way our man can satisfy us with all that we want him to be high, threatening and everything is okay. You understand? So Satan tried to bring those parts to see, can't you see your man cannot do this? But as a daughter of God, as a man, as a man of God, as children of God, that one is to go into prayer so that God can help us to overcome. It's to tell the devil that my husband is better than this man. You understand? It's better than this person that you are showing to me. God gave me the rightful man. It makes it hard to know that you are proud of the husband that God gave to you. So why the physical aspect? Men, we have man and woman, we have to be there for each other. We cannot say we are so busy, then you leave your wife for how many months or for how many weeks or how many days. Then you think, no, 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 no. We are all, we are all human beings. We are walking the same way of the Lord. So that even so that our wife will not lost us, even our husband will not lost us. I lost us. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's counseling class now. We're not in a counseling class. Everybody pay attention. Amen. 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 This is a uh, um the white cap. Okay. Alter. Just alter. Okay. okay, sir. L let me add, oh my sister, God bless you. You have spoken well. And I want to add to what she has said. As uh, others, others did not speak well. No, others spoke, but our own was different from what I and the sister, uh, the other sister said. Oh, um, God bless you and give you more wisdom. I want to say, um, sometimes it can be the fault of the other partner, uh, as she has said. I just want to add to it as believers, as born again Christians, and also following the path of holiness and righteousness does not make us to dress in rags or shabbily. In your skirts, in your tops, in whatever you are wearing to cover yourself, you can still look presentable for your partner. You must look presentable because if you make that man or woman to lose, the sin is on you. The Lord will hold you responsible. And again, as she said, do not deprive your partner. That is very important. If you want to separate yourself for fasting, let it be by agreement, not by you are tired or anything. You must satisfy. And again, as I said, you must present yourself 100%. You must not, someone, someone might not see you and you can see the rainbow colors on you. Eh? If colors are not coordinated and the woman is a human being. He goes out, he sees. He's a human being. What kind of wife do I have at home? Uh, she has turned to something else, you know. Don't allow the man to think, you know, of uh, something different and go out and start lusting. You should bring that man's mind home. Look presentable. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Bring that man's mind home by looking presentable. Amen. Amen. Also, bring that man's mind home but uh, this is this, 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 this. Um, but now let me say this hello sir i want to say something sir i should go ahead okay go ahead should i go ahead I type yes on this. I type yes. Amen. Okay, let's let's do it where we do it. Say yes, I'll call you on. Say go, let's go. Come on. Since you possess a type yes. Yeah, I type yes. Yes. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. On this, I'll type yes. Yes. What I um I want to say what like uh, what sister uh, uh, um 
Doris and Sister Edith, I know Sister uh, Arthur said, yeah. But, but that, this is not an excuse for you to loss as a married woman. Even if, if, you are, if you are really born again and you are, that your, 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 your spirit mind is in Christ, your, your life, your, your spiritual mind, your physical and spiritual is in God, that's not even if your husband is uh, not touching you, but you are married to Jesus. I didn't say, what about, okay, when we, said, when we talk about that, what about those that are not married? Fornication, are you not saying, are they not going to go and start fornicating because they don't have a husband? That is not an excuse, anyway, but what you said is also good. As a married man and woman, God created it, even in the book of, uh, I think, First Corinthians 7 or what he said, unless when we are fasting, give yourself God. And after that, come back again, so that Satan will not use it, use it, you know? So if you give God, some people that are lost, this is spiritual, in spiritual aspect of it. It's demonic, it's not a you see, you're not only married people that are lost. Uh, people that are not married, they are uh, single, they are also lost, lost you know, they, which is fornication. That's not the will of God. And you know that is a sin too. So what I'm saying here that if God, but is by the special grace of God, which you, you know, whether your husband is not uh, uh, coming to you or is taking time, I don't know why, but we, we, we should not, you know, pray. It's prayer, you know, put yourself to God so that that spirit of loss is in your mind. It's when you remember it's in your mind. It's what you remember that you go after. If it's not in your mind, it's talking about sex or looking at somebody. I don't know. It's not going to be in your mind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The level was about to go to that church. It's okay. Sister uh, Susan. Amen. Just to know what is that good because that's the good for almost. Say all my. Are you hearing me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, ma. Okay. Since I go, just say what I wanted to say, but I just want to ask you this lust we are talking about, everybody based their point on women alone, neglected the men. It's bad, Basa. You understand? It's bad, Basa. The men, too, has to present their body and also keep it for the a wife, too. And if look at what the revelation that God gave recently can also make the man and the woman be lost in outside. Say one way where I believe that what Apostle Mona said that we are all matured, one way of play with our husband, play with our wife. You could imagine a man that was doing it different ways with the wife. All of a sudden, the wife is a Christian, born a gay Christian. The man is not telling the husband, no, this is what God wants now. And that man is not a Christian yet. He's not believing God, but the wife is a born again, virtuous woman. And the man said, oh, really? So fine. And so what is outside is satisfied the man in a different form. You can imagine that. What would the woman do? He still need to pray. I pray for the husband, that God should touch the husband, so that this can work up in the family. The mama even neglect the wife, say, I'm not going to be making love with the wife anymore. And also dress it too. The woman that is a Christian, born again Christian, I don't know if his sister is, is well known now, preaching it on in the, in the YouTube now. This is like one child, and she gave her life to Jesus Christ, find another new life. And the husband said, oh, really? This is the way you are going to be dressing. This is not the way I met you. You better go back. This is not the one that they told her who were there, myself with this sister, Claire, with some other person, consoling this sister. This sister was crying. The man said he would not marry again. The family of the woman, John the man, said he must go back. And the lady said, no, Jesus, he has met with Jesus. That he doesn't want to go back. Till today, the marriage has ended. The man go out, going after other women. So what we are talking, we should be very careful because it's God. With the help of God, what can really stand and say, you have the truth, Jesus. If not, oh God, even the, even the so-called Christian, so-called born again, they do the same thing, you begin to wonder, but this person is a born again. Lost see after sister in the choir. Lost see after sister in the congregation. Everything is still based on Jesus Christ. We pray that God should help us. Help us. Like what Sister Ego said, keep yourself. If you really you are serving God to stay at, no matter what the devil is trying to 
present to you. Do, 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 say, driver, I, I told my friend, this man is disturbing. I just, I just said Apostle Malo one day briefly. I said, this man will not allow me to read this letters, the text she sent the address. I'm a married woman. He said, for the madam, show it. Where is the ring now? Show it. Because that married woman doesn't even know the woman he married. Show it now. Disturb me. But I said, I am a married woman. I am a child of God. And I, a divorce is a sin. In the Bible, we don't do it, we don't commit adultery. I keep on preaching to this man, keep on preaching, but still, he, would not, he wouldn't listen. But because I'm a Christian, stand firm, unmovable, you, the person would not succeed. I would not even take my mind, go there, because I, I want to also think about hellfire. If your mind is coming there, just, oh God, hell is real. Heaven is real. Let that thing begin to ring in our heart. We'll be able to keep ourselves with the help of Jesus Christ. Honestly, nothing body can keep ourselves except Jesus said. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everyone that has spoken now, you spoke well. So people are keeping their faith, but they are lost in. They're not doing but they are lost in. There's a joke I said something. It's not only when you sleep with a woman that you are saved. If you look at the woman lustfully, you are seen. Now, let me say something here. Your husband does not meet you for 10 years or so. Lust is, 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 is a spiritual something. Lust is a powerful spirit. And when he gets hold of somebody, it takes the grace of God to go, to go away. Even if your husband is doing it every day, your husband is so clean. When you still see somebody else, you still lost. And the spirit is there. But there are some people, no matter how long the husband did not come, if the spirit is not there, it can never lost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a sexual spirit that have attacked your flesh. Let's call us. It came gradually and enter. Once it enter, let your husband, let your husband not even leave, leave your body now. Once you just see another man, it will just enter. You see this man? So, lust is nothing that has to do with uh, my husband, don't sleep with me, my wife, sleep with me. It's, it's a demon, it's a spirit which we must pray against. And it can attack anybody. Amen. 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 It can attack. Do you hear that voice? That voice is that, that voice is, is charming. Hey, do you see that, sister? Just little if you agree with the suggestion, we are finished. You come to agreement. You see the voice of that man of God. You'll be thinking it's a good thing, it's just for you. I ah, hear the voice look good. You don't know that what you are just done, you are just agree. For you know it, you started, it started giving you some other pictures about the same man of God. You start with that voice. For you know it, you see his eyes go. You see this one, just as a detail and a if. The fruit that was for me just now becomes something that I desired. That's how it is to lost. So it's not about sometimes you can say, okay, because it, it, that is just what the, the devil told you. Because my husband is not dressing well. Hey, the excuse is giving you. Because my husband is not sleeping with me. That is the excuse the devil put in your mind. But in the real sense, he is not doing it. For you not to blame him, not to be praying against him, he has given you excuse. Are you still getting me? Yes, sir. <clears throat> that is just the excuse you have to hold on to. Let your husband bath now. Or maybe uh, your wife bath now. Hey, this plus, you wait for one hour, go and change it to two hours. Uh, one hour time. You be, give you, you different, uh, different, different uh, excuses. So, what am I saying? Let us not give room to the devil at all. Mm. In whatever way you come, uh, my husband has not come to, 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 to the bed for many, for many months. Uh, my wife has not met me for many months. 
don't give it as an excuse to start losing after somebody else own. Do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're not come. Will I need somebody else to go and pay for it now? That is, that is, demon, it's, that is demonic. For your husband not to have come, you are not putting your eyes on somebody else's husband. I said before, he can attack anybody. It's a spirit. That is demonic. It's satanic. Because your husband did not come, don't put your eyes on somebody else's husband. Is that, is that, is that, not, is that not Satan? Sickness. That is sickness. Demonic. And which is and it's so deadly. Your husband is not coming to not the payment should not be not you not not after somebody else as well. Is that is that not, is that not the payment now? Is that not the solution to it? That means Satan have just attacked that mind. So it did not share. Lustfulness is all about devil attacking us to sell us to hell. And the Lord God Almighty will as many that are into it, God will deliver everyone that are into such in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe uh, we are also going well. Yeah. Amen. So I believe the last person now. So go on. Let's see why. Sister is no, sorry, not that person, no. Brother Austin. Brother Austin, is he online? Brother Austin, say hello. He's still online. Okay, still online. His network is a problem. Let, let me meet you first to see if you can. No, it's not for your own, it's for his. Is that for you? Yeah, it's not for you. No, you can, you can write it out. Mm -hmm. No, no, write it out, sir. Okay. Um, sister. Messy thing. Praise the Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. And uh, my own is uh, contribu contribution, same time, maybe question also. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, I want to. I want to talk about the topic that the. Uh, when I first to say that uh, that we should be covering our body, like if we have a husband, that husband does that husband wants us to we have to cover our body only for our husband. So, but um, this contribution I want to make is what I've noticed, you know, with some uh, um, some our Christian sisters, because I know the devil is so tricky. Sometimes when they will maybe when um, the when Maybe they will tell his Christian sister, maybe you have heard that we, we don't have to put on trousers. And the devil will propose something that I have, okay, maybe you can put on skirt, but he will try to give maybe the skirt that is maybe showing their shape. Or maybe he will give a skirt that or a gown that maybe is uh, not covering their, their leg or down, straight down to their feet. So because when I, I what I'm trying to say is that because I know when I was in the world, I know men can also like lust after when they see a woman, uh, maybe a woman is uh, exposing the, the, the feet, you know, because sometimes the skirt can be maybe a little bit more down, down, um, maybe if, um, half, maybe covering the knee, but maybe the legs are, maybe she's exposing her legs. So, but there are some people also, there are some men that can also lust after the, when they see the legs of that woman. So, but what I'm trying to say here is that, uh, is it not a sin also if a woman is dressing that way that is making a man to lost? Because some sisters, they put that type of skirt, they, they, don't, they know that it's a skirt, it's not a trouser. And 
And also, there are some also Christian, they put on skirt or gown that is also showing their shape. And I know that as a Christian woman, we don't have to show our shape. Praise the Lord. So that is, Hallelujah. I don't know. Mm. Any, uh, for instance, contribute to that? Is that easy, Ekori? Huh? Is it Ekori? No, no, you're yeah, only so I just put it because of that. Uh, the Any contributions to this, please? Okay. Sadoris. Sister Veronica is raising hands. Praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My sister, I want to say concerning, um, maybe for example, you know, spirit, spirit of lost, a lost is a spirit. Because as the God have used apostle to say, because you know, uh, before we already know that lost came from the heart. As the Bible have said, it, it came gradually, you know. It don't just come once. It's something that when door is open, then it will be coming little by little, little by little. Because like for those maybe wearing a, even if you, for example, person wear Agbada. I don't know if you understand what is the meaning of Agbada. <laughs> maybe hey, when somebody wear Agbada, big, big clothes. If the spirit of lust is in a person, that spirit, we also look, sorry for that, amen. If the spirit of lust is in the person, no matter how that person, even if you wear Agbada, you wear big clothes. It will still lost over that person that is wearing that big clothes. But to those people that is wearing maybe shape here, shape there, you know, my sister, they have to still really check their born again. It's true. Because when you know that you are genuinely born again, the Spirit of God will convince you of what you will wear. You know, it will also rebuke you and say, what you are wearing is nakedness. So we all have to know that, okay, if you wear clothes, uh, for example, during the time of old people, they say when they see your knee, that for your leg, you are naked. You understand? So we all have to know that once, once we are naked, you yourself as a child of God, you know you are naked, the Spirit of God will rebuke you instantly. That what you are putting on, you are, you are naked. So praise God, please excuse me. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is exactly what I wanted to say, Sister Dorisa. Let me just uh, put more lights. Uh, as she said, no matter how you wear dress, whether you wear a bad, big cloth, as she said, if the spirit of loss in somebody's life, they will see, they will see this look at you. Not even the person that wear the dress, I mean. The person that has spirit of loss to, 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 to put mouth on that person and say, ah, you are looking sexy, you are looking the way they used to speak, talk in the world. So it doesn't matter the clothes you wear, but as a Christian, we all know Jesus Christ is our mirror. We're supposed to have that spirit in us. Anytime, for example, me now, anytime I wear clothes that I know is too shape, even if it's a straight cloth, I will make that waist too big, to mother my waist. I don't care. But as far as he enters me and he's free for me, not that he will, he will disturb me in my body. That is how Christians are supposed to, even though no people to check you that the clothes you wear, but the spirit in you will be convinced you that this is no good. At times you wear normal clothes, it's not too big, not too big, but if the spirit of loss is somebody surrounding you that still want to look after, loss after you, it will still be there. It's only we have got to be rebooking them and place your life on the hand of God that God to protect you and to, to put his beauty upon you. A lot of Christians say we see them outside, we see admire them. We cannot just say we lost them. We admire them. Ah, this sister. It's as she's a born again. I like that yeah, born again. It's very neat. It's very beautiful. That is love from God, not lost. So there's different from loss for people when you see Christian and lost. So may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to say something. There's different admiring our lost, you know. Hmm. So, hey, I'm to say what? Hey, so when you come here, uh, uh, face with oil. Don't, uh, uh, please. <laughs> hey, between the two of and the man. Hmm. So, let's see there. So, sister, Mutube. Praise the Lord. Uh, In fact, the, um, let's say, as a woman, you are wearing a gown. 
the gun is above your knee. As a child of God, you have checkmate yourself that is above your knee. It's not tight on you. It's flooded. It's a flared gown or maybe a flared skirt. I don't see anything wrong with that. Like my sister said, even if you are wearing Agbada or Agbada, if you are wearing a gown, that is longer, like is it is like three quarter. It's longer than your knee. No, below your knee. Uh, sorry, it's below your knee. Is is three quarter. I don't see anything wrong in it because anybody that wants to lose will lose. Even if you wear a long skirt, it's drawing the ground, but when you are oh, moving. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, still. Yeah. Uh -huh. but yeah, they pass there. Go down. Like uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong in it. <laughs> okay. As long as it's not a fitted, a fitted skirt that is showing your shape all past that area. Let me, let me say this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day, myself and my children we were going, going somewhere. They saw a sister that wears a skirt. The sister was white. It's a white, it's a white, it's a white woman. So her skirt reached here. My children was say, You are naked. The small, the small, the small one said, say you are naked. They, that day I was so I was I was I said, God. They went, they went to her, said, Do you know you are naked? Said, ah, how? But well, I'm waiting. Say, don't you see your don't you see your legs? I said, as a woman. Don't you know you should call your legs? You must say, hey, sorry, I, I, I never knew. I never knew. Sorry, I'm, I, okay, next time. I, next time, with the correction. Now, if a child, a child can go and tell a woman, sir, let's read the three page, three page of this thing. If a child can go and meet a woman that wear three quarters like that, I say you are naked. What do you expect adults to say? Now, let me say this. If you as a Christian, if you wear three, three quarter skirt, are you comfortable? It depends on the skirt or the gown. I said the word. I said flag. There is fitted. There is flag. If we do is. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the log, the log, the log mess now. Mm -hmm. As a sister, a Christian sister who is born again, genuinely born again. Let's say the, the skirt is big, but it, it just pass legs small, needs more. Are you happy? You, you, you'll be happy. I won't be happy. No, sir. I'm, I'm not trying to 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 to, 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 to I don't think my wife will be happy to wear such a thing. Won't be happy either. Even in the house, I'm trying to praise her. I don't want to have anybody here. Even in the house, for to wear skirt like sister, sister, this mother, sister, 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 uh, uh, what, uh, no. to wear skirt, a Christian that is here, it doesn't reach here. You see, you wear skirt, is it? Mm -mm. mm -mm. I don't think anyone, any Christian who is really born again. No, you use many English flex or flux. No matter how you say it, uh, it's there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. It's the nakedness. If you wear if you wear skirt, don't wear skirt. If you wear a uh, small one, don't know. Say you wear you, you are not wearing skirt, you are not wearing pants, you just wear uh, uh, three quarter. Okay, praise the Lord. So what we are covering here now, eh? Mm. Is that is that the, the, the rest part of the leg skin that is showing? What of if the person is wearing a long boot? That boot is not it, the boot has already covered. It has already covered the legs. Uh, you, can, you, can, you cannot be wearing boots every time. No, it's a question. I'm just asking a question. Yes, you can, if you want to it's so scared that it does. Let us know. Let us know. Advertise what is not good here. No, I'm not advertising because that means a lot of people have to change their wardrobe again. I'm saying this is because we, we, you know, when we are saying something, we have to be clear. Yes. 
Now, so I'm, if I'm, you are wearing I'm, a skirt, I'm, I'm saying now, as a man of God who is who, is holiness set or now? If you are of the world, you are, if you are not normal Christian like that, it, it doesn't matter. But if it's really holiness, you must your skirt must be your skirt. It must be skirt now. Sabrina, yes. I'm sorry, sir. Which me a lot of Christian in Nigeria. The one I know, let, let me say Africa generally now. Most of all of them now, as I'm seeing them now, none of them is only deeper life at times. Their skirt is down. Even though it's no more than three quarter, and but we flare. Thank God. And be free oh, and walk. Hold on, man. Thank God you measure at least you measure somebody that do that do the right thing. Uh, that is who God is looking for. Okay? If the whole world is doing the wrong thing, and it's one person that do the right thing, that person is, is, is thinking of that, it's coming for that person. We, what, we, uh, someone was telling me, eh, if the whole, I can't remember the one again, sir, you can't remember that one word that we said the other day. If all this white, is all these white people now that are wearing trousers, does it mean they are the way to hell? I said, I said, if the whole world wear trousers and only one more wear skirt, if you could tell them my way, then we'll go, we'll go, to, we'll go to ashes. During Sodom and Gomorrah, three people. During uh, Noah, eight people. If you see only, only three people, you will take them away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, oh, they have spoken. I don't have anything to say, also. Amen. Amen. So, that's the one Please, if you have a clue that very, that is, it should, it should you have to answer one of the questions. I want you to answer this because she that? specifically said about if the skin is not showing from the, let's say, the three quarter is not even almost. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Sorry, with all due respect. She specifically said that even if the three quarter is not, is passing like just at least a little bit before your, the, the, I don't know how to put it, like when you raise up your leg, when you show it. And you have that kind of gown. It's flooded. And then you have a boot, a long boot. There are winter boots, there are summer boots. You have a boot that you now wear, and that boot now have even passed the part of your uh, uh, skin that is open. I've not even entered under the gown. That means that woman is still naked. I don't think we should do I don't think I can go. Please, if anybody have any questions or any answer for that, please, please, please. Praise the Lord. We're going to. Uh, Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Uh, um, you know. For me, I know that um, for me, according to what God has revealed to me, I know that our gang have to be long. And yeah. we have to take an example because we know even the, the, when you read the Bible, you know that the gang of uh, Jesus Christ also was long. Yes. And, and also we know that even if we are seeing this Jesus him, you know, women were covering all their body. That was how women it have to be. Because already when I'm talking about lost things, it's not only about Christian women, uh, men. Because when sometimes we are going outside, maybe we are going outside, maybe you put on that type of skirt, and maybe a man outside, because it's even the world also, the people, the women in the world, they dress also that way. So when they, when they, they also put skirt that maybe is showing their feet, you know, because some men also outside that they are not Christian, they can be lost in after your feet. It means that you have also made them to lost. You have also made them to lose, and it's a sin also for you, for you, the woman. So, but I know that as a Christian woman, we have to cover all, even the arms, because there are some Christian women also that sometimes they wear short arms, clothes that is showing their arms, because those are those parts that we, men, men can be lost in after, and it's a sin for us. But what I know is that as a true child of God, we need to cover all our body. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, what about wearing slippers in the summer? Because the men can still see your skin like. So is that a sin as well? You wear slippers. You are still wearing this long skirt now, but you now wear slippers in the summer. And then they can see your see the, your, your leg like this, your skin on your leg. Is that a sin? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This issue is not an issue we should stress too much. We all know what is good. 
we all know what is good. If you believe you are wearing three quarter, you are happy with it, no problem. But the only thing I will have to say here is this. We must be very, very careful. If you wear anything, you know what you are, what you put on. But even if your, your heart is deceiving you, it doesn't matter. But you know that it matters. You know within yourself it matters. Let us be, let us be modest. Let us make Christ happy. If you are if you are inside, maybe you are inside with your with your husband alone or so. Nobody ask you how you how you dress or don't still be modest in your house. But when you are out there, cover yourself up. I'm not saying okay, okay, it was enough. Anybody that's not uh, uh, lost your after feet, that person, you know, I said before, lost the spirit. Forget about lost it now. Forget about a person lost it after you. You yourself make Christ happy. As you is only the one seeing you. Forget about maybe somebody will, lost, somebody will lost after me now. Where what Christ says, yes, this is my daughter. Imagine how. The angels just heaven will dress. Imagine now, uh, an angel will wear, uh, wear uh, or the set in heaven, he will wear the quarter before the Lord. I don't think I don't think he will be happy. Dress as if you are already in heaven. Forget about one man is supposed after you. Let's use our senses and go help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Those who are, who are not who are uh, sweat their own very tight, I don't have that one. Let them just handle that service for that Because I have seen many Christians in, in on Facebook that they will be preaching with their skirts very tight, with everything revealing that one. They know what they are doing. So those who are just left the other way to come here to start doing what they are, they, 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 I pray God have mercy for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Ossie, we came inside before, you couldn't talk. You can't have your network. You want to try again? So you wrote the answer on the chat, sir. Yes, you can see the answer. Okay, uh, let him talk now, let me see. Hello. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. Okay, we can hear now. Okay, I really want to thank God for the Sabbath of God. I want to thank God. The message is really eminent and it's really important for some of us. Who want to make heaven in that the God we are serving is a jealous God and he doesn't want us to add unto him since we are having him as a husband he doesn't want another husband to be added to him so we don't want to thank God and this matter of dressing the kind of dressing you put on when you get to heaven it's gone we are going to wear now so it's better for us to use to it now when we are here so that when we get to that place, it will be easier for us. So the matter of the, the most important thing in the book of Peter, God told us about modesty. Dress in the way that God will appreciate. Dress in the way that will bring glory to God. Because in the Bible is in our our life is what? It's a light. He said, let your light should shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes the way you dress, we portray the kind of Christian you are. So it's good for us to be dressing like how we got to be dressed in heaven. You know, we have to, we don't have to expose ourselves. We have to dress modestly that we are bring glory unto the God. And I really thank God for the message. Really, God whom we are serving is a jealous God. That's why he said, you cannot serve two masters. Definitely you cannot serve two masters. If you say God is your husband, you must stick to him. You must stick to him. And it's like this two-faced reason we need to avoid it. If we decide that God is our husband, and a husband must live to the command. You know, a man must live to the command of the husband. If you, if you say Jesus is your husband, whatsoever he tells you to do, that you must do. If you want the relationship to be in in, in in unity and if you want a relationship to last forever you just have to abide to the husband's uh, commandment 
That is there in the book of Deuteronomy. He said, if only you hearken unto God, you will do those things that I ask you to do. He said, well, you will make you above all the nations. So if we say, Jesus is our husband, we must stick to him and abide by his precepts and principles. So that on that day, we will not be like the five foolish ones. You are in the slept and the slumber. And man came. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now we don't want to thank God for being part of this. <laughs> Amen. 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 This is really a seminar. Please let me really say this to our sisters. I want to uh, beg our sisters here on, here on this mountain. People are watching you. People are using you to dress themselves. If you went to the quarter as a sister, somebody that's watching you might go and make it shorter than, than your own. If Sister Maria can wear the quarter, that means if I wear uh, the one that always here, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm okay. So please, I'm begging us here. Women of Mount No Solution and Relation Friends Worldwide, it must wear skirts. Uh, it's not by, I'm not saying I'm putting it up. The one that Christ will be happy, if you must wear skirt, please let it be the one that rich ground. That the one, not the one that you wear, as if you are doing marriage, you know that one. But let it be the one, let it reach your, the uncle, they call it. Yeah. <laughs> please. Because people are watching us. Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh, please, I'm not saying it must. So please, do it well. And God will honor you for it. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Any other person? Mm. Okay. I believe that would, that would be the last person. I wanted to emphasize on the, you just said it in the, Okay, that was why I wrote this. Like, uh, what about uh, these people or those people that uh, uh, they they said that is they they are wearing their gown and the gown. If, for example, they say, "Let us run," they cannot run. How do we see that one? What I mean now? Yeah, that's uh, what I just, I just said. Just that is, now. Yeah, that is. I said no. That you go and wear skirt. If you go. No, no, don't mock God here. We, we, we should know what to do and God will be happy. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 also saw, I saw some women, they were scared. Yeah. They, they would not be moving like a robot. Because the skirt is so long to the ground, not that one. So far, so long it covers your leg. Is that the baby that way that they push you? This foot, they call it. Yeah. <laughs> So, I'm not saying you go and wear so scared, you are going to be holding it for you at the back. You are really not so scared, you don't really have the whole Bible. It's another foolishness again. So, don't be foolish. Praise the Lord. Uh, Somebody wrote, uh, yes, I agree. Okay, that was agreement. What if I'm alone in my house? And I still get short, short hand and three quarter. You see, I'm alone. You say you are alone in your house. So don't, I don't think I'm the same. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just said now, you are alone in your house. So that is not a, a thing. But when you're, when you're coming out, you dress well. Amen. Amen. So this half hour, you can go and I pray God Almighty we will not use any whatever we have said now against us. But Amen. Will be a propeller and panel for us to make him happy. Remember, as my brother said just now, he's a husband who is, who is so jealous, wholly jealous for you and I to live well eternally and externally. And on the last day, 
all the labor of love we we labor for him it will not be vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I, I, I forgive you for that to you just now. I it is not a good thing to have used such a tone on such occasion with due respect. So please for a good thing. Next time be careful. People are watching. Sorry, sir. I have something to show here. I, don't know. Eh? I said I have something to show here. To show? Like, yes, like something like this. We are okay like this. This is different. We did you not know. Never seen you. Are you not know what I'm showing? I see. It, yes, something like this is for us. It's good for us. Is this not okay? Is this not? Okay. Is it, is it the, the, the length you are talking about or the... The, the length and the, the way the cloth is for, for us to, to wear it. It's going to okay like this. Uh, uh, you, you, how do you see it? For me, oh, it's okay. Oh. It's okay. I order things like this from internet. And it's okay. Because if the length is okay, the cloth is not tight, it's free. And it's long. Okay. Yeah. For me, my, my heart takes it and I order for it. Uh, you have order for it. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, now, now that ended, I said, it, it is good that you try to be happy. So, since you said it's okay, you are, it's, you have order for it, and go get it for a valid. Hmm? Right on. Okay. Praise the Lord. Yes, sister. Hallelujah. Adoris. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hold on, please. Okay. Sister, uh, yes. Please, my brother, I'm going through some something. It's like for me, I cannot able I I understand that um it's not a sin like sometimes to leave our natural ear like this coming and maybe going out or be in the house but as for me i have it's very difficult for me since i become a christian so i cannot able to leave my head like this my ear because if grace just entered my my ears i can my head is aching and i'm feeling somehow i cannot able to even in the house to just leave my head like that as soon as i leave my head like that i feel instant i notice that something wrong i i must quickly pick my head tie and put it again and i cannot able to go out without air tie and uh, sometimes to balance to balance it i used to maybe comb my hair and use my scarf tight maybe like um, if I'm home because there was a time my husband was like oh it's just like a bondage it's not like like this I said please like if I want to remove my uh, my head tie like this I feel I feel it that I cannot able to uh, my head to remain without head tie so I used to comb my hair then I use my scarf tied in between to cover my yeah, my ears for the place not to enter. So I don't know what is what what. Please allow. Now I want to tell you this. I want you to ask God, who are you? If you are somebody that God will be communicating with all the time, so we are, we are different. Okay. If you are somebody God, they like to be communicating with all the time. Your hair, it will do it so that your hair will come all the time. If you remove it, it will be a problem. Yes, I notice it because my head will be hitting instant. Now, I'm not saying... What was it? Hold on, I'm coming back, please.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry about um, that. A... So as I was saying just now, everybody have different grace. If you are a woman who the Lord always wants to speak with all the time, it will want your head to all be covered. If you are a woman who go want to, you know, there are some people they can't do that prayer. It's not because it's not them. That is who God made it to be. They can be in kitchen, they'll be praying. They can, anywhere, anytime, they are always praying. God always wanted to. So such people they cannot do that covering their head. We can see some other women, they can, it's not a sin. But when you are praying, cover it. But there, are, there are people God always wants to talk to them. So my blood sister and sister is rejoice. I'm not saying who you are, but I want to go and ask God who you are. Who you are. So if this is happen again, that's how it always be. So do something more about the spirit and it don't, God Almighty, that uh, made you be, to be like to be that way. We give you the to to come back to keep it up in Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. Yes, that is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to have to before we say the word. The other one, just what Apostle said. Because I want to say something because uh, I will see that uh, this uh, message that uh, the daughter of uh, this question that the daughter of God just brought also. Because, uh, for example, now, like air cover, like for me, by the grace and the mercy of God, if I don't cover my hair, it's like something left to me. Even sometimes, some husband will be saying, You don't open your hair. I've not seen, you will be using it to see that thing. Don't just go part of my wife, maybe air cover, you know. But I find it difficult whenever I open my hair. It's like something is missing out of me. Until maybe when I cover my I'll say, hey. Well, the moment I take my hair cover, it's like something is gone out of me. Praise the Lord. Because the reason why, as uh, God has used his minister to speak to, speak to us, it's true. Because that moment when God wants to speak to you, your hair is not covered. And uh, because your glory must be covered for God's glory to reign in us. Praise God. And also concerning when, when I don't know if it was one of our sisters, they wrote something, maybe what about when you wear uh, and the clothes that maybe you are, in, you are in the house. My sister, what I want to say concerning that one, you know, when you are in the house, you are not in the house alone. You have children. Because your children, they are there. There are some clothes you can wear in the house where you cannot, where you cannot, you know, you cannot say maybe you are in the house, let me wear something like this. You have children in the house. We also know that God also himself is also with us in the house. Praise the Lord. So we cannot just say, sister, we have let us just what to wear, what to lack, what is making us to be free. We have to know God is always there with us in the house. And also we have children. I want children also, they are still there watching us, what we are doing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, by the special grace of God, I thank God for the question our sister asked about the covering of the head. Uh, like what uh, God is said now. It doesn't mean that uh, only maybe uh, if you or you do not cover your head, uh, God can talk to you. What I mean now, uh, for example, if you want to commit sin and maybe you don't cover your head, I think there's something that will tell you this thing you are about to do is a sin. Uh, that the spirit of God will not say because uh, you did not cover your head, will not rebuke you or whatever you want to do. And in another hand, uh, for those according to what the Lord just said now, uh, what he told our sister not to go and ask God. Uh, apart from that, you know, uh, uh, in another way, if for example, now as a so, as a human being, you wash your own cloth, you just wash your cloth now and you lock it up in a bucket. Or in any plastic without going to sun it, then you leave it there for two, uh, one or two days. If you open it, how will it be? You will have some smell in the thing that it may even lead you to re wash the closet. That is if uh, you are, uh, if that is why it's good. 
at times a woman as a woman you need to maybe after you wash your hair you don't need to just cover it instantly or whatever at least hair need to go into your hair to avoid smell to avoid smell and bad odor in another way so as the son has told our sister just now if, if that is your case as he said ask god but it doesn't mean for you are not covering your hair you are living in a sinful life because you cannot wash your blood, as I said before, and just put it in a, a rubber without going and sun it. It will look somehow. It will bring smell. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'll come in, sir. Okay, sir. Um, like what you just said now. Hmm. It's only a food. They will say she just bath. She bath her hair with uh, with water. I talk about it like that. God is great. God, God, God is we're not having, we're not having an image. God's spirit, you know, you just, you just take your bath. I, God knows he wants to talk to you. Your eyes must come back. It's a spirit, God. You know what to do. You can't just uh, bath now just, with your water. Just, 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 I'm talking out of experience. So, <laughs> so it's not everything we should be waiting for someone to, to come and teach us. We should, we should use, let us use our wisdom. Yes, sir, Mr. Apostle, uh, God bless you, sir. Uh, I have what you said, but I still have to say what I had in mind you know, after my brother spoke. You see, uh, what we are doing, we are dealing with the Spirit God. And there is something that, that our, our, brother, our, our brother from Sierra Leone said, you know, let's don't go against the, uh, the Word of God. Moderate is moderate. Even the food we eat, if you see food because it's so nice and you eat, you end yourself, you know, uh, injure yourself, mm -hmm. health-wise. Dress moderately. You should know what is good to, to be done. Now, having said about this, a time, you know, uh, I thank you for a lot, but, but we have to, say, have to say it. And I, I came into what uh, uh, Mr. just said. So, unless, you know, ask God whom you are, that is a very good thing that you told She said, I asked that question. So, people will not use it as a yardstick. You know, every now and then your hair is tied. I, we, see, we have to wait to be real. Air will not enter, it will smell. Some of you complain here, you know, the husband don't do that. And that. Let's, let's be factual. You understand? Nobody will ever like somebody when your head is smelling. And you say you tie it completely. You don't, you don't, you don't wash your hair. You don't allow air to enter. You tie it. You see, we're not, we're not serving a wicked God. Let's not put God, you know, and God is subjecting us into a rigorous system. No, 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 no. Let's please allow the word of God, you know, to, uh, uh, to take control of us. Let's do everything moderately, like man of God said. Ask God first of all whom you are. It's not a yardstick. And every now and then, you know, your head is well tight, no air, nothing at all. May God help us in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not in a KG1 school here. These are people who are matured. So if you are now waiting for a postman to tell you, allow. It's not everything I can be saying. It's like God I'm giving us food now. Like what my brother just said just now. A woman just bath. The hair is not dry. Just put a tie. That is that that woman should go and she go and check that woman. Who, who, go and check her brain. It 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 will go it will go it will go it. It's happy to die because of the hair now. Something else. So, please, sisters, let us be very careful. Let's do things in the right way so that we will not be even insulting God. Say, God, you are the one that put me this body. No, 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 no. I told her just a second. Even Jesus Christ, when they, when they ask her, can everybody say that? Like he said, Some people are making you knock. You knock. Some people make you know what they say, but nobody forced you not to, do, not to go and make yourself you knock. So people are made, you know. So God, He will give them grace because He has given you know. He give them grace to be you know. So for you, that is not so. You can lose your hair when you have to pray. Cover it. Even you that in this after bath your soul, uh, at least don't go and get yourself headache. Oh, uh -huh. my head is my, my, uh, maybe headache. Check if that is why you are getting headache. Yes. Uh, 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for each and every one of us, the way we have spoken concerning this head tie. Apostle Adros said something very important. I discovered when I tie my head too much, I have headache. Why must we? I mean, we should use wisdom. We, we, we should not, let's leave hypocrisy ourselves. I'm sorry to use that word hypocrisy. Tying hair every time. Does that make you a, a Christian? Let us not be religious. Tying hair 247. No. So much time you tie hair again when the weather is hot. Why will you be tying your hair? You can hold your scarf in your handbag if you want to pray. When I'm going, my scarf is always there. When I want to pray, when I want to do anything. Not 247 tying of hair. The hair will smell. I mean, we should, we, 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 we should be very careful in all that we are doing. We should not take this uh, holiness to be something else. No. People, because people are watching us. I remember uh, 2013 when we went to Germany. You know, when we, uh, when we, when we had the convention in Germany. That was when this holiness thing really started. I know, but I, I personally, I struggled, you know. Like what Apostle said the other time, if I, the way I do my hair is something else. You know, I really struggle with it. But thank God that. Uh, God has helped me thus far. I remember two sisters, they were there in the program that day, so we were, we were in the toilet. So, no, I mean, not inside the toilet, we were just in a place some, before the program started. So the two sisters, they were just discussing as if they were quarreling. They said, ah, look at you, look at the way you are dressing, old woman, this, 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 this and that. So when I came in, not that what I was wearing was short or anything, it was long, but I was dressing, my dressing was neat. So she now said, oh, look at this sister. If holiness is like this, I will go. I, I prefer to go by this. Not you, 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 just as if you are smelly, you are dirty, you know, the way you are dressed. No, we shouldn't be like that, please. And everything we are doing, we should do it all to the glory of God. We should look at ourselves. Am I dressing as a Christian woman? Am I doing this as a Christian woman? We have to be very careful in all we do. So that even this husband we are saying of, they will not start looking at us and say, oh, this princess is that she's well dressed. This one, she's something else. We have to be very careful. Don't die here two, four, seven, please. The Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Say what he said just now. If you want, people say the way. Uh, look at the way dress. If, if you so, let me say this. Uh, that one said that they say look at this sister. Uh, let me dress this way. They know this hard. They can they can be able to do it. It's not because you did this well. So let let us not say because so somebody in the world said uh, uh, I, I'm okay. I go and say I'm okay. They believe your own was hundreds, so the one they can carry. And if they show you that dress that, that day now, that your that your white, I can remember that flower white skirt that you were talking about now. Will you, will you, I don't think you can do that like that now. Last time you came, your skirt was not like that. But they believe that is what they can carry that time. So okay. Look at this sister, you yeah, always okay. But you now, you have passed that level. So not, they must not use people of the word uh, co re commend recommendation to serve God. It was a day that compared to say to, uh, they said to they said they are not wise. Yes. So let's go for God's standard, not uh, what people what people say. And let us use wisdom. I go ahead with the rest of it. Amen. Hmm? My next week is going up and down. So we should close. Oh. There are many more uh, people are coming in also. <laughs> well Maybe from here, uh, ma Marathon, no stop. <laughs> sister, Maria, sister, sister, these last two people, please. Sister, Maria, and sister, sister, just these two people. Uh, no, Sandra. Uh, okay. Sister, Maria. Sister, Maria. Before Sister Maria. Okay. I think you are, you are serious. serious. You are serious. Another one came up. <laughs> Uh, me, what? Network. What do you say? Your network. Ah, I'm hearing you people. Okay. Can you hear me now, sir? Yeah, okay. Hi. Are you hearing me now? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I will say my briefly anyway because of the. I don't know who asked the question. I don't even know the question they asked. But I met people discuss it. So I want to talk about my own self, not another person. Me personally, I like tying my hair, and uh, 
So people don't want to cut, tie their hair, they want to leave their hair. There is nothing wrong, you leave your hair, no problem. You tie your hair, no problem. I wash my hair every day. Sister Dukbe can bring me out. My hair is not smelly. They are drier, you dry your hair. You, you pastors, brothers, you people don't know how women take care of their hair. You don't know about that. Then we have a dryer, which, can you people hear me very well? Yes. We have a dryer which we use, bra, bra, We dry our hair dry. Me, I like tying my hair. I don't like, I, fact, I don't want to tie, uh, leave my hair. There was a day they have, I just, bad features, okay, so they let me leave it. But what I want to start at this song, my sister said, tie your hair. So you see the reason why I always like tie. You lose your hair, you lose your hair. It does not mean any separate to God. We are all Christian together. No, if God calls, if you are sincere, if you are righteous, you will still be taken to heaven. You that tie your hair, if you are sincere with yourself, you will still be taken to heaven. Comes to dressing. If we say we are Christian, we should dress well. We have to be sincere. No putting on short skirts. You say you are dressing. No, that is not dressing. Dress well. I keep on telling people, say, well, I say, have tell Jesus, say, we are not going to wear that longer. So we are going to wear short skirts. Why did you tell Jesus? If you know that in heaven, that, that time is a long gown, everybody wearing. Why are we talk, what are we talking about? Dress, we are Christian. There must be difference between a Christian and unbeliever. I can only because a Christian, unbeliever, wear one kind of skirt. I told John, no. Your dress, your skirt must go down, please. Go down for people to know that you are a Christian. You understand? If you are not dressed like a Christian, you say, uh, uh, this is the way I want to entice my husband, I want to do this, you got your hair for it. Honestly, you go to hair. You are a Christian, you must dress well for people to see that, yeah, this is a Christian. This is a Christian. If you are a Christian inside and it's not reflect outside, what is the difference? I'm a Christian, I carry with them. The other person is a Christian, he carry with them. How are you going to differentiate me between and that Christian? No. I will say, by your fruit, you shall know them. Present yourself as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable to tie my hair. Whoever does not tie your hair, you have not committed any sin. You does not tie your hair, you have not committed any sin. We are all aiming at one goal. God bless us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. This one we are saying is what I said. See, he said it depends on, like now. God gives you some ready all the time. So you are always ready for him. It depends who you are. Before God, it's about your relationship with Him. Sure. So if you say, okay, let me just uh, put it, uh, put it uh, like somebody said just now, I'm, I'm always with my head tied. When you give me a signal, I will cover it. Or let me just cover it, wait for Him. It's individual. It's, I don't, I, we are not saying, it's not a sin. If you leave your hair, but make sure when you want to pray, praise, do anything with God, cover it. That is just, that, that, is, that is it. Amen. Amen. Let us know uh, what about what is not really uh, okay. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that Almighty Lord will help us, everyone who follows in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. What I really see in this uh, dressing of a king is different. Um, I just pray God will help us. The Bible said we should walk in the spirit for we not to fulfill the loss of, loss of the flesh. Like tied of hair. Everybody I've always said, like me, I do sometimes I want my hair for bridge to enter. Depend on you. If you feel like when you're telling hair, you are you are feeling heavy, why can why why are you punish why, why are you why will you be punishing yourself? When God are not allowed to punish yourself. God is God is a author of confusion. If you yeah, I said just now. If you tie your hair, you are comfortable with it. Anything that you are comfortable with, you do it. But when we are praying, we need to cover our hair. That is what Bible said. Bible never said we should not. Anything, please. Not anything you are comfortable with, please say it well. Ah, so uh, when you cover your, I mean, when you are covered, when you cover your head, you think it's okay. And about this dressing, as a child of God, for me, me, I, that is why what I want to say here. Don't look at anybody to dress. You, 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 you study the word of God. You are led by God. Anything you dress, if you do, if you don't dress well, the spirit of God will surely tell you, ah, this my dress is not good. Let me go and change it. If you dress well, there are some people out there, no matter how you dress, as we said before, those, those that will fall, that will fall. 
for we to avoid uh, falling or so, so somebody uh, see will not be on you. Let us um, copy God. Let try to dress um, modesty. Make sure the most important. Make sure we are clean when we are going. We are neat. Not that we are we pass somebody. With, our hair is smelly. Our, our mouth is smelly. No. What I really believe here. Dress to please God. Once your dress is okay, I believe God will be pleased. Plead, plead with it. And one thing I want to say to too much revelation. This one we say. That one we say. This one we say. This one is not good. That one say. That one is good. Let every one of us go and seek the face of God. Lord Jesus, how do you want me to live my life? I don't want to live for anybody. I don't want to watch anybody. I want to live my life the way you want me to live it. Because there are some people that will do things. God will pardon them. There are some things you will do. God will not pardon you. That is what I want to say. I just pray God will call the boss in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, well. There are some sin. What we do, go for the brother. When sin is sin. Okay? God does not pardon us of sin, okay, because you are a sinner, he pardon you. When you come to sin, don't say, God, uh, 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 God, God, leave this one for me. No, 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 don't go there. If God says, This is the standard I want, everybody must keep to that standard. So, what I'm still saying, if your, your conscience tells you uh, it's good, to, to, it, it, your conscience and the Holy Spirit is the same. Your conscience, because your conscience has been seared up. Because hey, it's, it's okay, it's okay. But what is, you obviously say, concerning that dressing. So let us dress not because you, yeah, it's, it's okay for you. Dress and um, know, if, is, is it okay with God? And the dressing, I know, it will be okay with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. is long skirt as a woman if you are going out. Well, women own is very, very important because no women body is so revealing. Like now, maybe even, the, even like now, the way I am now. I don't believe, I don't think any, any, any one's okay, this man, this man, and you are not well-dressed, let me, let me start lost I said those who want to lost. But let it be woman now. Just wear it and just test more, just come out like this. So you know it. Even though the have to lost, it will just come that, that, from that end. That's why women must be very careful. There's a way God create you, you don't there's a way God creates women. Even man of God, even the man of God and uh, spirit of God before. But the way you reveal yourself, it can it's seductive. It's, sedu it's, sedu it's seducing. The man might not do it, but you you are gradually killing him. So let us dress in a way the Lord will be happy. As a woman, don't dress uh, your, your breast like nah, nah, nah. you know your breast is showing. So so women, so Christian sister, the holiness sector, they will dress. You, you see the way where the breast part. What is all this? Even I a man, if I dress now, I, I see my neck here, I'll be condemning myself. A man who if I'm just dressed now, I don't wear this kind of thing inside. I will feel it bad. If I dress, I don't think I say maybe we're inside. Say outside, come and wear short leaf. It's not possible. So we should we should know what to do to make Christ to be happy. Dress as Christ will dress, and God will help us. Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. So. Hey. That should be the last session, Abby. Other session, okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, My sister, sister, uh, um, Jesus, I already said what I wanted to say, but I just want to add a little bit. Really, it's like we. For me, I love to take care of my hair, wash it, breathe it, feel so good. But it's just like, it's that I always feel that I cannot able, my, not that I will just <laughs> use like when my hair is not dry, covering it. No, I wash my hair and um, make it 
I always take care of my hair, wash it and uh, grease, make sure that I put grease on it for my hair to be nice. But it's like, as I said, if grease entered my ears, inside my ears, I will not feel good. I always... Is that not repetition, sir? Service. So, amen. Oh, no, she just keep it to people that my head is not dirty. I, I, yes, I, yes, because I always take care of my head. <laughs> so, you know, some people, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I don't want someone to misunderstand me. <laughs> so, no, you can see that, sister. <laughs> it is well. Oh. It is well. It is well. <laughs> Okay, please, let's, 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 let
when man see them, they seduce the man. It's not them, but in this place is them. So such person, even though you wear whatever you are wearing, you will see that they are they are, they, are, they target somebody. All men, I'm going to be seduced with you, seduced by you. Whoever that's going to bring down, that is that is person to be seduced. So it's a spirit inside that woman that is doing it to that man. So even though you get it in, the spirit will, it will magnetize the spirit of that man to, to her. So that one is diff it's a different thing. So that woman by any deliverance. Serious one. From that said, use the spirit. So you will surprise, you, know, you, get, you will go to church, start falling people in the church mm -hmm. with all the addressing. He said, does it said, the spirit. So that's a, it's a different one entirely. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, this is how far we can go. Go help us all. Amen. Let's open our mouth and celebrate. Let's thank you for all you have done today. Let's thank you for all you have done. For me, you have done all things very, very well. You have gone deep into our lives. You have made us understand who he is to us and how we should live for him. Let's thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory, Lord, God, Father, Lord, I thank you. I bless you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I exalt you, Baba. Father, for everything you have done, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord, you for making us so good. We are supposed to thank you. You be the glory in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The devil have heard his message. He, he listened to all the questions and the Holy Spirit have also listened. I want to praise his Father, please. We are begging you. Give us the grace to go back to <coughs> the right thing. This message will not be used against the teacher that the Holy Spirit used to teach. It will not be used against any of us. All the questions we have answered. Is anyone we have answered wrongly, Father, have mercy. Is any question we just ask, we just ask, just for asking sake, Father, have mercy. Anything that was done wrong today, Father, have mercy upon us and give us the grace to go and practice the right thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, King of Glory and Lord of Lord, Father, have mercy on my soul. Father, have mercy on my soul in the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy on my soul. Father, have mercy on my soul. Oh, yeah. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we know you this message not to condemn us, but to teach us. Yes, Lord. And wherever the devil is pointing the finger of condemnation, let that finger be withered in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we all have heard you. Help us, the Holy Spirit, convict us wherever we need correction. Wherever we to go back home and do something about ourselves, oh God, give us the grace to go and do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And is there any of us that is being hurt, oh God, because of the way we either speak or answer any question? Father, give all that we to know we are all children of, of, of God. The grace, oh God, to 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 uh, not to get angry, not to get offended in anything. Father, we receive that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 With joy and laughter. And from now on, wherever we've been disgracing you before, making mockery of your own, through our dressing, through our conduct, through our words, today we are repented and we will never do it again by your, by your grace Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, as we have said before, we are individual. We know how God deals with us. 
Help us to know who we are before you are to live that way with you. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I declare that Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and Prince, my Savior. Bishop of a soul.